This is John P. Welcome to Geek Beat special edition of Will It Break? Today's episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Drobo. I was watching this movie where this bike thief uh, grabbed some kind of can of Freon or something and he went over to one of these locks and he just hammered it and stole a bike or something, okay? And so I decided, you know what, I wonder if that really works in real life. I doubt it. And so I'm gonna try and prove it, but maybe we can break it, I don't know. So here's the thing. When we talk about steel, there are, there steel exists in different states. Different kinds of steel can have different characteristics. So really cheap steel can be soft and bendable and it will never harden. You couldn't make like a knife out of it no matter what you want, no matter what you do to it. Then higher quality types of steel, especially those with a lot of carbon in them, can be hardened. That's why they make knives out of them and locks. So you'll notice this, I got this at Walmart, it was like $12.95. It says it's hardened steel, okay? So that means they have heat treated it and made it really hard. Why would you make it hard? Well, the reason you make it hard is because a knife or a saw has a hardened blade. And if this was soft steel, then a hardened saw blade could go right through it. But if this is harder than this, well, you can't cut through it. But when things get hard, they also have another interesting characteristic. They get brittle. So sometimes you, you have this balance between toughness and hardness. T hard things can break easily, tough things can take a beating, but they can't cut easily. They try and find some kind of mix. All right, so the first thing is we're gonna just kind of test this. What I've got is this very expensive Avenger pole. Don't let Callie see me doing this. We're gonna pretend this is the frame on our bicycle and it's locked to something, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay, lay it right there. This is a two and a half pound little mini sledgehammer. So I'm just gonna beat on this for a second and we'll see if we can cause any damage. Oh, we damaged the pipe. I don't think we're gonna break that. We're, we're damaging our bicycle, but we're not really damaging the lock. Bending it. We're bending it, but that's not gonna get it off. So, let's see what happens if we try and freeze the metal. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use my pocket knife to strip off the outer plastic so that we can get access to the actual metal. Because we're gonna wanna make it really cold and see if by making it cold, we can also make it very uh, fragile so that maybe a hammer blow could uh, could do what we want it to do. Now, what I've got here is a can of, it's actually called Super Cold. It's like those compressed air cans, only this one is made for chilling things. So I guess the stuff's gonna come out. I've never used it before, so we're gonna see what happens. But I'm gonna basically. Now are, you gonna, are you gonna turn it upside down like we do no, with those other cans? No, you don't have to do that with this one. Okay. So I'm gonna spray it on here until one of two things happens. Either, I don't know, maybe the can will get so cold I can't hold it or this metal, we're gonna try and freeze it. It says it will chill circuits to negative 60 degrees. Can of this is about 10 bucks. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Can you see the ice? You see the ice kind of forming? Oh, it's yeah. getting really cold. And the stuff that's splattering my finger is cold too. So I'm trying to make it, I don't want just the surface cold, I want the whole thing cold. So I'm really spraying a lot on it. All right, Dave, this is where you might want to stand back. If this metal breaks, we've emptied the can, okay? If the metal breaks, it could break into pieces. So like, you gotta like watch your eyes. There. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. Nope. All right. So I guess we've dispelled the myth. You're not going to be able to break that thing with, with any kind of Freon or can. It's probably just too thick to make it all the way 
cold enough to shatter it with a blow. We need a big thing of uh, liquid nitrogen to try. Yeah. You know what? You know what we could do is let's see if a Drobo Mini will break with the cold. How's that? Yeah. Not gonna do it, people. I love the Drobo Mini too much. So uh, I'll tell you what. If 500 of you tweet at me to freeze and smash the Drobo Mini, I might just do it. But otherwise, go get yourself a Drobo Mini so that you can use it when you're making videos and things like we're doing here. All right, that's it for this episode of Geek Beat. Myth was busted. We'll see you next time. Hey, I don't think you can say myth and busted in the same sentence. Ah, uh, is it patented? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we'll check with the lawyers. And all that. Hair off tab. <laughs>